everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to Yarn Purpose. Today I have a new to me yarn to show you. We're going to take a look at the Burley Spun Yarn from Brown Sheep Company. Hey everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back. Today I wanted to show you this Burley, Sp Burley Spun Yarn from Brown Sheep Company. They sent it to me in the mail to give it a try. And so I worked up a couple swatches and so I just wanted to briefly talk about the yarn and show you my swatches and give you just sort of my overall thoughts. So you can see here it comes in this gigantic skein um, and it is 100% wool. You can see it is a single ply. So um, it's just very chunky and lovely and I love sort of the color variation that you get in the yarn. It is 100% wool. In the skein, you get eight ounces, which is great that you get um, eight ounces in one skein, and that's 132 yards. So you do have enough in this one skein to you know, make yourself um, a quick little accessory. Um, so it gives you the gauge information here, two and a half stitches per inch, needle size of 13. The color I have here is the gray heather, and you can see it is spun and dyed by the Brown Sheep Company and they are in Nebraska, which is in the United States. If you're not in the United States, Nebraska is in the United States. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at my swatches. So the first swatch I have here is a knit swatch. I used a US size 11. The yarn itself says to use a needle size 13. I could not find a needle size 13 in my house. So I used an 11. I'm a loose knitter anyway, so um, I probably would have to go down a needle size anyhow. But for this particular yarn, I decided just to knit sort of a simple swatch. I stuck to garter stitch and stockinette because I, I really do see this yarn being great for like a simple hat, maybe with some ribbing or texture, um, something like that. I just, yeah, I really love the way this knit up. I did not weave in my ends because I could not find a tapestry needle with a big enough hole um, for this yarn. But um, yeah, you can see here the single ply and again, just sort of that just slight variation in color that you're getting in the strand. And what I love about it is that it has a fuzz to it. I know that the trend right now is to add mohair into your project. So a lot of people are holding like a, like a strand of fingering weight yarn and then say holding um, a strand of mohair with it to give it fuzz. Um, I personally don't love knitting with mohair, but one great thing about this yarn is that it does sort of give you a little bit of that fuzz without having to use the mohair. So I really like that. I love the fuzz that you're getting. This swatch came out so soft. It feels really great. Um, you know, I would be very curious if I knit a cowl or something, um, to see how, how it feels next to skin, but this does feel... It does feel very soft and doesn't seem like it's going to be that itchy, which is great. Um, so again, that's my knit swatch. But then as I was making this, I started thinking, I feel like this would be really great for crochet. So I decided to crochet a swatch as well. And I decided to go with half double crochet stitch for this one, just because I felt like that was going to be like the squishiest to me. So for the crochet swatch, I used a USM, which is a nine millimeter hook. Um, and I did the half double crochets and you can see it's just so, so squishy. This is not stiff at all. I love the stitch definition that you're getting, um, both with the knit and the crochet stitches. Um, I think it's really great. Again, this is just, it's very, very squishy. So I think that this yarn would be really great for bulky crochet projects as well. And then the last thing I just wanted to quickly mention is I have um, the ball of yarn that I was using to make my swatches. And um, really the only disadvantage I saw to this giant skein was that um, I just have a regular sized ball winder. I have um, a Royal brand ball winder. I've had it forever since like I first started knitting. Um, and this particular skein um, really pushed the limits of my ball winder. Um, that being said, if you you know, bought this yarn at a yarn store. A lot of yarn stores have the sort of jumbo ball winders. So I'm sure your yarn store, if you bought it there, could wind it off for you. Um, but at the end, I did have to pull it off the ball winder and kind of 
wind the last little bit by hand is because my my teeny little ball winder um, could not handle the size skein and that's like it wasn't really a problem but I just thought I would mention that because it is this gigantic skein so yeah just quickly wanted to show you this yarn today again that's burly spun by the brown sheep company I'll leave some links down below if you want to give it a try like I said you can find it at your local yarn store I'm sure you can find it online but I'll find some links for you and leave them down below so if you liked this video, please go ahead and give it that thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, including videos where I try out different yarns that are new to me, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you like, you can turn on notifications to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I hope that everybody has a great week and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.